What's going on YouTube? Marcus Crockett back with another video. And really quick, I'm about to tell you exactly um, how the, the, the older generation really helped me shape the way I do business and how I choose the people who I do business with. And if any of it makes sense, um, while, while, I'm, while I'm talking about it, if anything strikes a chord with you, go ahead and, and hit the like button. I remember like years ago, I was a little kid and my mom used to always tell me, um, you know, everyone who you think is your friend really isn't your friend. And I never really understood exactly what it was that she meant by that, because in the mind of a 10 year old, I'm thinking, you know, if we're all hanging out, people coming to my house, ringing my doorbell, we're going out, we're playing in the street, whatever, then we're, we're, we're friends because if we weren't friends, then why would they do that? So I never really understood what, what she meant by that. She's like, okay, well, give it time. You'll see, keep living and you'll, you'll understand. Once I got to, once I got to like high school, there was this older group of guys, right? They weren't even in high school no more. They were older. And I'm like, man, these dudes are cool. Like they're doing everything I want to do. They got money. They got this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. You know, I want to hang out with these guys. I want to be friends with these guys. And we knew each other, but they're like, yo, you too little, right? So a couple more, a couple more years goes by. So now we're hanging out, right? Now we're, 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 I'm coming around more, we're doing stuff. And then we got to the point where it was like, yo, even if they, those guys go to the clubs and like, I wasn't old enough to go, they would get me in because they, they knew like, they, you know, they knew certain people. So, um, you know, that, that's kind of like how I started hanging around these guys. Right. And then over time, like I'm getting older and we're doing different stuff, you know, now it's just like, I'm, I'm a part of, I'm a part of the, the, the whole crew. Right. As time continues to go on, like people are, the crew's kind of like breaking off and, and, and going into different, uh, you know, people are just growing up. Their life is, uh, is, is evolving. Some people getting kids, some people have getting married, you know what I mean? Just people are just going their, their own ways, right? Me and one of the guys, like we were probably more uh, aligned in the way that we thought about certain things. Like he was really in the business. I'm in, I'm, 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 I'm not, I don't have a business at this time, but my mind is starting to wrap around the idea of having a business as possible. And because I see him with a business, I'm like, y'all, I know it's possible. I remember one day, this is probably like 12, 12, 13 years ago. Um, I don't have a business. Like I'm, I'm working a job that I, I, I hate working and I'm trying to figure things out. And I remember we go out, we go to, uh, we go to the mall. We, we just uh, talking and shopping. And I remember, I don't, I don't remember exactly how the conversation came about, but here's the thing. We're talking and he tells me like, man, I don't want anyone around me that's, uh, that has more than what I have. So I knew right away that the relationship is based on me being really, I'm just being honest, 100% transparent. Like I did look at him like, um, like an older brother, he's older than me. He's doing like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get into there to what they were doing. Right. So he looked at me like I'm like, I'm under him already. He's like, I never want nobody to be around me that I, that I feel has more than me. So I knew at that moment was when I realized that I felt like what my mom was telling me all those years ago, I, th I felt like she was telling me those things for this moment right now, because this is really the first time when it when it really really applied when i really noticed it ever since then like me and him never hung out we never hung out like i've seen him probably like four three four years ago and um you know there's no hatred there or nothing like that but we're not friends like we, we, we we're not hanging out um just because our, 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 our mindsets are completely different so i took that situation and once i did start a business i applied the same a line of thinking into my business. It's embedded into my business. Like I never want to be in a business relationship where 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 it's one sided. I, I always want everything to be like a partnership, right? Where I'm I'm bringing value, you're bringing value. We're putting them together, and now we have this thing. There's there's and and and, and really, that's really what the purpose of the contract is. So no one can void outside of of this contract but there are cases and I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now like i'm going through this right now where we have a contract in place with the client but the client wants 
to maintain the integrity of the pricing of the contract, but they want to come in and, and pull more services. They wanna keep extracting more and more services that they're not paying for. To me, that is a one-sided relationship and that's the reason why I chose to end the relationship. They're no longer uh, my client. Actually, our last date of service, I think will be, uh, it's just in a couple of days. We're, we're, we're gonna be done uh, servicing that client. They're no longer a client of ours because the the relationship is now, it, it went from something that was mutually beneficial to, to something that's being one-sided. And, and I don't appreciate, uh, I, I just don't appreciate those types of relationships. So that's why I always say, I always do business and I only do business with, with people who I like to do business with and with people who like doing business with me. That's just a longer way to say that mutually beneficial. But guys, like I said, man, if any of that made any sense, go ahead and click the like button. I am about to go ahead and hop off of here. I got to do a couple of inspections really quick. But guys, like I say, I'm always dropping jewels. Just make sure you're in position to pick them up. You do that by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Once again, my name is Marcus Crockett. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.